All right, gonna do a little uh, review here, the CGS Hawk, CGS Hawk Arrow 2. Six foot three, how big? Six foot four, getting in it. You can see how they how he fits in there. Not gonna loosen this shoulder strap. But you can see, I mean, the only thing is the uh, rudder pedals are disconnected, so now they're just feet rests. But the headroom, if you're over, oh, yeah. and he's 6'4", so his head just touches the top of that. When you fly, the airflow over the top kind of sucks it up a little higher, so it won't touch his head when you're in flight. But anyway, here's the layout of the plane. See, and this one here has the, uh, the Her 3003 on it with a 60, roughly 68 inch TF prop. All right, thanks Fred, you bet. And 71 inch would have probably been a better choice, but I didn't think I was gonna have the clearance. As you can see, we definitely could have run a 71 inch on this and it'd probably get a little bit better to climb, but right now we're sitting at gross weight. We got a, 10 gallons of fuel and it's about 90 degrees, so we'll see how she takes off. Get ready to take off here. I got the camera going, so it's oh, okay. Set at 90 degrees in the shade. This GPS says 110, but it's probably only maybe 100 out in the sun. And we're sitting at gross weight, so we'll see how it does. Carverville traffic experimental 3131 Lima departing runway 18 with a left hand downwind departure to the north. Carverville traffic. All set. Yep. Do one notch of flaps. Alright. Let her warm spool up slowly. And there's full power. And we're going up. Doesn't take all day. No, it don't. Even that gross weight on a 100 degree day, roughly. And we're only getting about 5,900 RPM, so I mean, it's kind of set for more of a cruise than it is a climb. Uh -huh. so we're going up at 900 feet a 